Anyways, this is your girl, Edith, for those who know me. I'm from Pacoima, California, and I'm going to start documenting my progress into that fit life. Just because a little birdie told me that if I document like my journey there, I'd be more likely to succeed um, in this process. So, this is me, you know, giving you a little rundown of my health history um and hopefully you know what hopefully it relates to you because if you were a little chunky kid like me and at some point got skinny and didn't appreciate being skinny and now you actually legit not skinny then <laughs> this might be for you you know <laughs> so yeah so let's get started okay so i'm gonna try to break it down as best i can so between the ages of let's say like kid age regular kid age um, let's say five to eight. I was I was a pretty normal weighing kid, just average. Um, uh, and then I hit puberty at the ripe age of eight years old. Um, and it was a very awkward time <laughs> as a kid because it's like I was suddenly growing two inches on this arm. This arm didn't catch up. My legs were kind of uneven. <laughs> this is I don't know. It's just I look like um. Damn, what's that do from? Quasimodo, <laughs> that's what I look like. Anyways, um, so that I thought when I hit puberty, that's when things really started to change. And um, from eight years old to probably like twelve years old, by the time I was twelve, uh, I was keep in mind I was like a four foot something. I was still a kid, four foot something, and I was weighing two hundred and ten pounds. Um, and at that point, I was developing, you know, through puberty, all like the emotional shit going on that. You know, I was really low on self-confidence um, to the point where, you know, I wasn't eating right. I was, I think it's bulimic or bulimia. I was at the brink of developing one of those eating disorders. And it's because I was eating and then I wouldn't eat for the rest of the week. Or I would eat, like I would literally just stuff my body and not eat. And that, that fucks your stomach up. And so I had to go to the hospital for it. And it's when the doctor told me, like, your girl needs to relax that after like i decided you know i went back to school you know i found this program called students from la and i joined it with my friend and you know i really lost a lot of weight with that i think that's the point where i started to kind of be a little bit more athletic um up till like seventh to eighth grade maybe uh, and then come high school and you know high school i didn't really start getting into the sports until maybe like 10th grade um, and I found a sport that I really loved, and that was tennis. And tennis was literally one of the major things that made me kind of an athlete in high school. Um, I would practice every day. I would, you know, do two hours of class time because the class time is tennis. I would stay another two hours after school. And then when I became captain, I would add another one hour or like hour and a half to work out. So I was really active. Um, and at that point, I had I was okay so I was 210 when I entered high school I was 180 and then when I did tennis I was like 159 and that's because I was working out on the daily my nutrition was shit let's keep that in mind my nutrition was shit but I reached to 159 because of how much I worked out um and now you know college came around I didn't keep an active you know uh workout schedule the stupid tennis club at CSUN denied me as a club because you know what they were only looking for professional playing um, tennis players and you know all those people anyways that's a whole drama I'm not gonna get into it but anyways the point is they rejected me for being a club and I just was so heartbroken that I just didn't I just didn't pick up anything I was I would go to the gym here and there but you know, sometimes it really wouldn't work out but that's my journey so far <laughs>